Michaela Schifrin has been the fastest woman in the world on slalom skis for the past four years. Last year, she crushed the competition in the first two World Cup races, but then was sidelined for two months due to a knee injury. She returned to action late in the season, winning all three races in which she competed. This past season, I considered actually one of my best seasons was because I felt like I made a huge step with my slalom. And actually, I felt like I made a huge step with my GS as well, but I raced a lot fewer GSs than slalom, and I wasn't able to really put the pieces together totally. Two of the races last year where I was fast at the intervals, I made just a stupid mistake. I've been focusing a lot on my GS this camp. I sort of teeter-totter between like inconsistent with my movement and my tactics, and then some runs and some days are like on, 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 and I, it's like I just can't lose. That's been a focus this camp, really trying to make sure that every single gate I'm really disciplined. It's a little bit wider now, okay? That's the line. Though. You can go just a little deeper, yeah. little, and then you can really step on it. Okay. You're too high, you're still going to have direction at the gate, but you're going to have time waiting, and that's going to break that flow. This year, Michaela is continuing the quest she began last season to compete in a select few Super G and downhill events in order to contend for the overall World Cup title. Michaela is a real student of the sport. She is incredibly driven, very professional, and 100% dedicated to be the best and nothing else will do. And I think that's what we all love about her. And it's an incredible opportunity to get to work with her. Schifrin achieved unprecedented success as a teenager by winning gold medals in slalom at the World Championships and the Olympics. Nobody really likes it when a young person comes up and beats you. And because I set that standard, there are thousands of other young racers who are probably like, Michaela did that. Let's do that. Let's, you know, let's beat her. And that's not really a fear. It's just sort of something that drives me. I'm more afraid of losing than I love to win. And that's what kind of keeps me trying to win is just not liking to lose. Behind Michaela on the tech team is Lila Lapagna, a promising young talent who will be competing full-time in slalom on the World Cup circuit this season. She debuted in three events last year, showing great potential by finishing 23rd in Flachau, Austria. Yes. It's so fun doing a little bit of combination speed course, working on our flats and combos and keeping momentum and flow going and seeing how close we can get to blowing out without actually blowing out and trying to beat our times every single run. So we're racing against ourselves today and so far it's been pretty good. I've been beating myself almost every run. so. I'm my best competitor. Sharing the course with Lila is Racy Stiegler, a 15-year veteran of the U.S. ski team who has had a storied career, consisting of modest success and intermittent setbacks. Lila is my official teammate. She's a very happy soul, so that makes me happy to be on the hill and enjoy everything, and I hope that I can give her a lot of inspiration as well. I am working on straightening out the combinations and not turning so much in them. It's like just really unnecessary to have to turn so much in there. You want to get through as fast as you can. I haven't been able to ski in the summer for quite a few years now from injury and some other things happening. So for me, coming in skiing in August is great. I'm going to get more training than I've ever gotten in the last couple of years, and it will really help me in this season. I'm proud of what I did last year. I made it back into the top 15, which I haven't been in eight years. So that was kind of a huge accomplishment for me. Each afternoon, when the chair lifts close, strength and conditioning begins. We had a long day today, skiing from nine till almost three o'clock. So recovery becomes even more important when you have those long days so you can get up and go the next day and feel refreshed. Feel like a new being. That's what I get for doing exercises every day, knowing what works for me and keeping my body young. Gotta do them to offset all the hard training. So, feels really good. I take a lot of confidence out of knowing I'm physically prepared. This is the easy side for me, I guess. The working hard part is easy. It's the mental side that comes a bit harder. 
when you're doing well, it's like so easy. And when you're sucking, you have no idea why. It's a very challenging sport in that there's no answers sometimes. <laughs>